everyone, Abby here. I just wanted to quickly jump on today and just share a little bit about masculine and feminine energies, being introverted and extroverted, and then also a little bit about grounding and water. And I just want to share kind of my recent experiences with those. So for for those who don't know, we have um, the two sexual energies. So you've got your masculine and your feminine energies. Now, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, you know, those energies can, uh, you know, be kind of like a core energy to, to each. And very often we can switch between energies. Now, I am a natural feminine energy, okay? And that is someone who, who um, I guess, kind of when you're when you're thinking about being with with an intimate partner um, and kind of you can go through a few questions about um, you know how you would be with them or how you would prefer them to be and that can determine whether you're um, more masculine or feminine now this is something I talk about in week two of the alive self-love and self-worth program um, which the ladies are going to be going through on Wednesday which is so exciting hi Carla hi Jennifer um, so anyway but I just wanted to quickly touch base about it so when um, a kind of a natural feminine will be kind of in flow, very nurturing, I kind of think of, um, you know, the natural feminines like goddesses and Mother Earth and things like that. And now a natural masculine is kind of like your warrior, isn't it? So it's someone who's very focused, very driven, very kind of end result type of type of energy where, you know, a feminine energy is about feeling, so feeling up on love, feeling up on energy, and a masculine is about getting to the end, so getting the end result. And you can kind of think about that when it comes to, um, you know, sexual and and um, the male will give and the woman will nurture, or the, the, you know, the masculine will give and the feminine will nurture. Now, what, what has... Um, why am I sharing this? So I wanted to share a little story just about myself. So being a feminine, mas uh, f a natural feminine, um, I'm able to switch into being a masculine and that's very much, I use that when I'm working. Okay. So when I'm being very driven with work, I step into my masculine role and, um, which is great because it allows me to stay focused. It allows me to get, um, you know, the end result and things like that. Now, what can happen though and this very happen, happens very often is that we don't switch back into being our core self so when I didn't I wasn't switching back into being a feminine energy that's when things start to happen okay that's when you start to get misalignment happening and um, you know kind of you kind of get a little bit out of whack and then you start to fall into dysfunctional masculine, okay, or dysfunctional feminine, which is not where you want to be. And that's kind of when a lot of anger comes out and a lot of jealousy and, and a lot of dysfunction comes out and things start to go wrong in life. Now, so I'm sharing that. So that's what happened to me. So I was going into my masculine because we just did that huge, huge competition, which was super awesome and super amazing. Um, but I was very much in my feminine, uh, my masculine for that. Now, when it's coming back to having to switch. Now, this is where the next kind of layer is. Are you an extrovert or an introvert? And the way to answer that and by one question, if you, it's all about how do you like to fill your bucket? Okay, so after when you're really tired and exhausted after a day, do you like to fill your bucket by being around other people? You kind of fill your, fill your batteries by the en being around the energy of other people? Or do you prefer to be alone and kind of fill the energy, or like fill your bucket with your own energy? Now, if you like to fill your bucket with other people's energies, that is being uh, extroverted, okay? So, and if you like to fill your bucket with your own energies, that's introverted. Now, so, I'm an introvert um, when it comes to filling up my own bucket. And, hi Christine, hello. And so what happened? So pretty much what happened uh, just this last week. So I stepped into my masculine to do the amazing competition. Um, and then I am a an, an natural introvert. So to fill my cup, I needed to be alone, right? But then because I was still kind of, um, you know, promoting and, and being around and out and this and that and rah, rah, I still wasn't filling my bucket, right? So I thought I was still jumping into my feminine because I was being very nurturing, um, although I was being extroverted about it. So I was kind of half filling my bucket up. Now, this is where I want to bring in, and that's a really common mistake that so many people do, but this is where I want to bring in the grounding and the water, okay? So water is very uh, yin, so it's very feminine energies, okay? So I like to emerge myself into water. And as you can see, I've got the amazing, 
amazing dam behind me. So I was just really drawn to kind of come down here and and share this uh, share this live with you guys today. But then also as a grounding into Mother Earth, okay, allowing yourself to get centered back into you know Mother Earth and who we are, and really aligning and balancing yourself. And and a really beautiful way that you can do that is kind of if you're standing here or laying or wherever you are, and you take a nice deep breath in, and you take that breath in, you feel it all the way to your belly. But then I want you to, and then breathe out again. And then breathe in again and imagine that beautiful breath is going down to your feet. And then breathing back out. Making sure that you're using kind of your heart center as well, okay? And with each breath you take, taking another breath in, going in, 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 and imagining that breath going through your feet into Mother Earth. Breathing back out again, emptying it out. Back in, and with each breath, it's like you're growing roots from your feet into the ground and allowing that breath to go deeper and deeper and deeper into Mother Earth. Good. And then just bringing it back out. And this helps you to ground, just imagining all the roots from your feet going into the earth, all the love that you're bringing in. It's just absolutely beautiful. And this is something that we can do daily, you know, if not twice a day, if not more, do you know what I mean? So whenever you're feeling that maybe you're a little bit unsettled, like if you're kind of falling off place or if you feel that you're getting a little bit um, angry or dysfunctional or things just aren't working out right, just kind of take this time to just stop and go, hey, am I being masculine or feminine right now? Am I being my true self? How am I filling up my bucket? And am I grounded? Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.